I'll be the first one to say it. After you sign Messi, it's kind of hard to follow up with it. I'll be honest with you. How do you follow up? Who do you sign? What do you do after you sign a player like Messi? I mean, no, nothing else compares to being that great. The only thing you could possibly do is sign Cristiano Ronaldo, and that's the only possible thing that could be as great as signing Messi. But today, we're going to fill the one spot that we need, that one spot that when you look at this team, besides Nelson Smith, who even though he's a 77 overall, we do have Bellerin on the bench. Nelson Smith has just been good for us. It's Fabinho. And even though Fabinho Bingo's absolutely a class of a player. I mean, when you see Royce, Madawidi, Azil, Ibrahimovic, Messi, Gareth Bale coming back off an of injury really, really soon. When you see players like this, you think to yourself, for bingo, really? So today we're going to make some moves to try to attempt to sign someone like a Tony Cruz and possibly a Vidal, which is said loads in the comments down below. Real quick, I got to say thank you so much, Booyah Nation, for the big 15,000 likes in the last episode. The way you guys have supported this Man United career mode has been absolutely amazing. We are getting to that point, man. We're midway through this career mode. Before you know, we'll be jumping into a new career mode midway through this career mode already. And you guys are still dropping mad thumbs up. I truly appreciate that, man. Anyways, we're about to jump into this bad boy. Before we play any games, before we play against the Gunners, let's make some transfer moves. And this was the comment with one of the most thumbs up on the video. 455. It told me to cite Dembele for Herrera and 10 million. It also told me to get Deli Ali and also the boy uh, Varane. So that is a few, three, uh, that is three good players that we possibly could sign. Deli Ali, don't, don't quote me on this, but isn't Deli Ali more of a... More of like an attacking midfielder rather than a defensive mid. Because for an attacking midfielder, we already have Mitsu Uzo, And he's just absolutely fantastic. And although Deli Alli's stats look absolutely unbelievable in this game. And although he looks absolutely incredible to play with. Are we really going to bench the boy Azil? Now, we did lose Pogba, so we need to fill a gap of a strong type midfielder. Now, is Deli Alli that type of strong player that's going to be able to break up play and also send play forward? I'm thinking more of a Vidal. I'm thinking more of a Tony Cruz. I'm thinking more of a player in that category. But Deli Alli, straight up a class player, and I possibly could be wrong. Maybe this guy is the Pogba type player. I think of him more of a creative player, but maybe he is that player that you guys, just like Vidal and stuff, that, and, and I just don't know it. Regardless, we can try it, man. I'm down to try it. Uh, I will throw something on him. I don't know what. I, I have 46 million right now. So um, let's try to be smart. I do have Royce. And uh, we're going to talk about that in just a minute. Anthony Martial. Sam J uh, Sam uh, John. Or S Sam Johnstone. Uh, Bellerin Herrera. Should we try Herrera on Deli Alli? Should we try to go for a Herrera swap with Deli Alli? Ooh, that could be tough. That could be a tough move right there. Let's give it a go, man. Let's see what they say. I know... I know that's probably not going to go through, but it's worth a try. Go to the next comment, and this one comes in from Poe, and it says, Trade Fellaini for Renato Sanchez. Try $35 million on Coke. Keep Ibra. Uh, leave a like if you agree. All right, now, there wasn't that many likes on this comment, but I, I wanted to definitely look into this comment, and also, the only comment that I saw with top comment was the one with 400 I just showed. I told you, man, the comment system is very, very crazy on YouTube, man. Anyways, big boy Coke, you told me to throw $35 million on him. They value him at 34. This is the type of midfielder we're looking for, I think, man. Uh, you know what? I might actually offer 40 on him. I might actually throw 40 big ones uh, on Koke. You know what? Let's drop that just a little bit and go 38 million. 37. 37 million on Koke. 85 overall. 25 years young. That is a solid midfielder right there. Thank you for that comment. Shout out to the homie Ortiz for this comment right here that told us to go after my man V Dow. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, I thought about giving Royce on V Dow. They value him at anywhere between 40 and 48. So what we're gonna do is straight up come over there and drop 44 million on him. We're gonna say 44 million for V Dow. If we snatch him up, we still have Royce that we can trade on somebody. Uh, we still have my man uh, uh, Gareth Bale, which we're not going to get rid of him. But Royce can leave and Gareth Bale, Anthony Martial could take care of that left side. So that that freaking deal right there for Vidal could be absolutely massive. Remember, we did lose Mkhitaryan. We also lost... Who else did we lose? We lost Mkhitaryan. Uh, we lost Jones. So we did end up losing two players that were important to our team. But we didn't lose nobody too big. Mkhitaryan, Bale barely played and Phil Jones barely played as well. This game's important. Now we are going into this game with an aggregate lead of one. So we scored one goal away, I believe in their stadium. Or maybe, yeah, yeah, in their stadium, we scored one goal. Now we're playing the away leg or the return leg at home with a, with with the ability to just pretty much defend. Now you can see my team is pretty damn tired. So Rashford coming into the lineup, my man Herrera coming into the lineup as well. Anthony Martial super tired, so he's not playing. Bellerin into the lineup. Uh, Uzel, let's throw him in. Let's bring, let's bring in, uh, 
Let's bring Fellaini for the CDM role. Herrera behind Rashford. Messi out on the wing, but Messi is hella tired, so we're probably going to have to rest him as well. Maybe the boy Lengard gets a go for this game. Yeah, I think we're going to go with Lengard instead of Messi. And as you can see, man, our team is absolutely beat. And we have to come up with a big boy result with a lot, a lot of tired players. In the back, Jim uh, Jimenez, or Jimenez. I'm going to play uh, Blend instead of Jimenez. And uh, that's how we're going to line up against Arsenal. Not a good lineup. Not the best lineup. Royce is actually dead tired. Who can I play for Royce? Where's Lozano? There he is. Uh, let's go ahead and pull out Lozano as well. I mean, Royce as well. Damn, a very tired team. And this is the moment of truth. Can we keep a good result against a good Arsenal team and, and knock them out of the Capital One Cup with a pretty much a backup team? Now, in my opinion, this Gunner team is very strong. And coming out with a lineup like this, I mean, it's just not a good look. I think this game has to be a possession-based game. Control the play, hold possession, make sure we're not giving them easy chances. This is how we're playing it, man. We're playing it safe. We're playing it conservative. And I gave it away to Gibbs. Nice steal. Varane in the back almost ran at us. Look at Varane, man. So one of the comments told us to pick up Varane. But as you can see, Varane just joined Arsenal. So I don't really want to take Varane from Arsenal as he just joined there. Is it Giroud playing? Yeah, Giroud's playing. He's not in the box. Now he is. Ball into the middle, but my man Bali was right there. Good defense from Lozano getting back to help his team. And my man Fellaini can start the counterattack, but I got nobody open all the way down to Lengard. What can he do? El Nenyu chasing me down. I cut inside. Well done. Fabingo. Fellaini into the boy Herrera. Back into Fellaini. Good ball movement. All the way up to Lozano, the young Mexican. Back into Fellaini. This is nice. This is nice ball movement. Fellaini. Still on it, Fellaini. Over to the boy Herrera. The shot. Golasso. Slow build up, almost put you to sleep type gameplay. A lot of passing, looking like Barcelona and Herrera. He's trying to impress me, man. He doesn't get much playing time because Uzil stands in his way. But he comes in, he finds a beautiful goal to the back post. Feel much better now, I'm not going to lie. After that goal, man, and a two-goal aggregate lead, I just feel good. I'm out of here, yo. I'm out of here, yo. I'm Get the hell out of here, baby. Rashford, no chance but, ah, murder sack and no chance, but I messed up and Rashford goes down and that could be an injury. Uh, do I have Luke Shaw? I do. That's great. Luke Shaw. Let me slow down. I don't trust. I don't trust Rashford in the air. Lozano. Still Lozano. Uh, Herrera? Lengard, what do we do? Damn, I couldn't turn on him, baby. I just couldn't do it. I gotta show you these halftime stats, man, because honestly, guys, this is just incredible. With the backup team, we have out-possessioned Arsenal. We have outshot Arsenal. We have outpassed Arsenal. We have 94% passing. We have 100% shooting. Guys, I have been absolutely incredible on protecting the ball, and that's my target. That's my goal coming out to this game was I knew facing Santi Casola, my man Alex, Alexis Sanchez, freaking Ox Chamberlain. I knew it was going to be difficult to beat them with a backup team. So I thought to myself, yo, if we could just hold possession for a really long time and not mess up on our passing, we can actually walk away with a W. So that's what I'm trying to get here, man. The big W that everybody wants. You know what's crazy is they're not even pressing me. They're allowing me to control the game and play at my pace. And that's that's just a new move to do that. My man, my man Fellaini. Oh, Fellaini with some nice moves. Fellaini! Oh, he could have made it a triple. I mean, a double. He could have got the, not a double, but he could have got, not his double, but a double for us. We could have been up 2-0 right there and 3-0 on aggregate. But Fellaini missed a pretty, a pretty, a pretty reasonable opportunity, to be honest. It's too damn late, baby. We're walking away with a freaking Capital One Cup victory or EPL Cup get victory. I'm not even sure what the damn thing's called, man. But we walk away with a massive victory. It's going to be interesting to look at the stats because you remember I murked them at halftime. And I didn't... Oh, I actually still murked them, man. I gave up zero shots. I beat them on possession. I beat them on shots and shots on target. My shot accuracy was 100% and I ended with the pass accuracy of 94%. I'm pretty sure that is the best I have ever done against a legendary computer. Holding on to the possession led us to make the final where we're going to see either Swansea City or South... Is that Sunderland? That's Sunderland's badge. Yeah, that's Sunderland's badge. Sunderland or Swansea City versus Manchester United in the final of the EFL Cup. So I guess called the EFL Cup is what it's actually called. We have another cup game coming up very soon. It's against Leicester City. 
And that's for the FA Cup. So a lot of cup games being thrown our way during the winter break. Really want to get back into the BPL. And that's exactly what's coming up. Hall City right around the corner. And as you can see here, we get an off from Barcelona. And it's for Marco Royce. And this is actually big, right? Because they want Royce. Uh, but I, I want a lot of money for Royce. That's the problem. So if they give me 72 million, they can have him. Otherwise, I don't really see the point of selling him right now. Uh, Herrera, they come at us for 18 and uh, let's say 30, man. Let, 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 let's say let's say let's say 30 for for my man Herrera, maybe because he is 27 and 83 overall. A loan deal here for a center back. I'll go ahead and let my man go out on loan to Norwich. Good luck to you developing as a player. And then we get to look at some things that were accepted and not accepted. They want 63 million for Vidal. Uh, that's a bit. That's a bit. That's a bit much, man. It's a bit much for Vidal. But what I can do is give you Vidal. And who can we throw in there? How about I throw Herrera and 24 million for the boy Vidal? Herrera and 24 million for the boy Vidal. Center mid for center mid, a lot of money as well. We'll see what they say. They did accept the Coke deal, which is actually a very solid deal, man, to be honest with you. And we get him for a pretty decent price on top of that. And he's 25 years young. Uh, that's that's actually a brilliant deal right here for the boy Koke. Can take Pugba spot. Is he a Pugba or a Vidal? Definitely not. But he is a solid player. We're going to wait and see what they say about the Vidal deal. We're really going to fight with them for Vidal. And I do have Royce to maybe put on the line as well. You can also see the, the transfer window deadline day is pretty much here. So I want to make a signing today. But... I'm gonna leave that transfer window deadline day probably for the next episode. Spurs actually reject the deal for Deli Eli as they want 25 million on top of Herrera. And that to me is just not something I'm really interested in. So it's the champs from last year taking on the team that's looking like they might be champs this year. Ibra Uzil, Fabinho, Mudawidi, Royce, Messi, Smidu, Jimenez, Bali, Luke Shaw, and the boy De Gea in goal. I feel like this is my strongest lineup. Well, until at least I get Gareth Bale back, and then Royce will probably hit the bench for Gareth Bale. I do have to change Messi's number. I'm going to do that hella soon. We're going to change him to possibly the number 10 or the number 69. A lot of people told me to go 69 in the comments down below. That was pretty funny. We're doing five-minute halves, and I'm going to just attempt to really just beat Leicester City. I don't care about possession. I just want to... I just want to score. I just want to pound it at him. I just want to keep going. I want to score loads of goals. Let's get it on. It's funny, right? They said a player to watch is Lionel Messi. The only problem is you still have Ozil on the pitch. You still have Royce on the pitch, and you have Ibrahimovic on the pitch. I mean, are you sure you just want to watch Messi? Are you sure about that? Because he ain't the player to watch. The whole team is the damn player to watch. He has a room, time, space. The young German running in front of him. It goes by the name of Royce. Nice over the top for Royce. Royce with a chance, shoots, and that one goes out. For Bingo, over to the boy, Messi. What do you do with Messi? I'm shielding, I'm shielding. I don't know where to go. Messi's a king at shielding the ball in real life. Good passing for Bingo. Now I got Ozil. I couldn't do nothing. Ref, no pen. Mudawidi right there with it. Good job, Mudawidi. Damn, Royce is everywhere right now. Royce, chill. Go to your side, homie. Relax. You'll get the ball when I'm ready. Ozil. Scoop turn. Ozil. Shot from Ozil. What a save from the keeper. Ozil is just another level in this game. The boy Messi comes short. I thought about just, yep. Scoop. Running at him. Ibra. Scoop. Get off me. Ah, oh, damn. Phil Jones. Ozil wins it back. Ref, that's got to be a free kick. Yes, indeed. He don't be greedy. Oh, get the hell out the way. Ref, he wasn't 10 yards, bruh. Ref, come on. Oh, snap. Vardy's gone as well. Yo, I just got robbed. Yo, I just... Oh, De Gea. Let's go, big boy. De, -de, 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 -de Gea. Oh, the boy Royce saying, wait, what about me? What about me? Skills, what about me? Dropped it into Ibra. Let's go. Ibra, Ibra. Uh, what do I do here, man? Um, oh, wow. He gave me the lane. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's like Simpson gave up on the play. It's like he thought center backs were there. Wait, should we dab on him though? Should we, nah, you know what? Let Eber do what Eber wants to do. It's, it's literally like Simpson gives up on the play. If you watch it carefully, look right here. Look at number 17. Oh, is that Mares maybe? Maybe that's Mar. Oh, that's Simpson, right? I'm not sure who that is, but whoever it is, he cuts back. And when he, when he lags out, when he cuts back, I'm like, wait. I'm taking with Ibra the whole way. Big boy Ibra puts it into the back of the night, net, net, night, net. Same thing, only different. Second goal in the FA Cup here in the Theater of Dreams. Well done. We're up 1-0. Nice Ibra. 
Dropped it into Royce. That's a beautiful play. Royce, bang it. Royce. Oh, keeper with another save. Yo, this keeper keeps parrying the ball. Oh, God. Smith who just lagged. I made Smith who lag now. I'm doing what the computer's doing. I'm doing what the... Oh, man. Smith who too nice. Oh, Smith who too nice. He might have Soleimani. He might have Soleimani. Nice shot. Duh. Hey. Yeah. That's Cheezeroni, man. He mad as he walked by me. The shot. What the hell? Off the post. And he keeps it in. And they keep it in. Oh, my God. Morez. Yo, they're attacking, boys. They are out here attacking. They are attacking us, and they ain't trying to go out the FA Cup, and we got to make sure we kick them out the FA Cup. Let's get it together, boys. That was a really bad session for or like segment right there for us. I see Royce. Oh, Simpson give up on the play again. Simpson. Simpson gives up. Hey, big boy Royce. Come on, man. So our passing's been terrible this game, 100%. But the man Ibrahimovic sees Royce on a mean dart and like dagger run through the heart of the defense of Leicester City. And he's just going to run down, cut down, finesse shot around the keeper to make it 2-0. It just seconds after Leicester City could have tied this game up. Why not feed the beast, Anthony Martial? Little skill move, burning Phil Jones. Oh, this is nice. Messi, Messi, right to the keeper. That was a sexy play. Loads of players got involved. Ibra with a scoop turn. I saw Anthony Martial. That's a great ball. Oh my God. Oh no, oh no. Yes, Anthony Martial. Yes, Anthony Martial. You are a stud, dude. You are a beast, dude. You are a stud, dude. Into Herrera. Uh, Anthony Martial. Messi can't get there. Damn it, yo. Anthony Martial. Anthony Martial about to get his. Anthony Martial about to get his. That's a terrible shot, dude. Anthony Martial has been on the pitch for less than 20 minutes, Booyah Nation. And the guy's already hit the post. Had a massive opportunity right there. And I'm not even playing him in the position where he likes to play. And there it is. A clean sheet for United. See you later, Leicester City. And we are advancing. Now everybody can celebrate, baby. United back to being united. United back to their glory days. Look at Messi and Ibra hugging it up. They played together at Barca, right? I'm pretty sure the year Ibra was there, uh, Messi was actually like starting his career maybe or very, very, very young, right? I'm pretty sure he was there. Regardless, fantastic performance from everybody. Koke accepts his contract and Arturo Vidal, the deal is just a no-go. So what about if I was to offer 40 million and then on top of that, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna offer 40 million plus Fellaini. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give Fellaini uh, plus 44 million. 44 million plus Fellaini for the boy Arturo Vidal. And the Koke deal is on the table, man. So we could sign Koke for pretty much almost 40 million. Nearly 40 million for Koke, which I don't think is too bad. So let me know down below. Do I go ahead with the Koke deal? That would leave us with 9 million, but still players like Royce, Herrera, Fellaini we could trade. And now it's transfer window deadline day as well. So in the comments down below, I need y'all to blow it up, baby. We go ahead and see something here from Herrera. They say they're going to stop going after Herrera because he's not worth it. We do get an offer for Anthony Martial. Which you're gonna have to give me 140, baby. Anthony Martial, too nice, baby. You're gonna have to give me 140. Otherwise, get out my house. A loan deal here for a young 19-year-old for Stoke City. We'll go ahead and let that happen, as he'll probably never play for us. And uh, yo, we've we've done well, man. I can't believe Arturo Vidal wasn't accepted. Obviously, the Coke deal is nice. If we can't get Vidal, Coke is a nice player. But there it is, man. Transfer window is up next. 40 million, the 40 million players there pretty much. Coke for 40 million is pretty much what it is. We rounded up. 40 million. Do I take it? Do I leave it? Let me know down below. We'll call him the 40 million dollar player. With that being said, man, smash a big thumbs up. Yo, leave a comment. Whatever gets the most thumbs up is what we're going to do. Transfer window deadline day. Let's make a few more signings. It's been your boy, Double A9 Skills. Subscribe, like it, and peace. Yeah. Welcome back to Draft the Glory, a.k.a. Swag the Glory. I'm rocking my side, man. Swag. If you got a side, man, swag, let me know in the comments down below. I love these shirts, man. I love them so damn much. They so comfortable. Anyways, man, yo, Skills, why you riding the side, man? No, I'm not. It's just a really comfortable shirt. Anyways, yo, today's a Draft the Glory episode, but I'm going to do it just a little bit different. In the background, you're gonna be watching my draft, and I gotta talk to you guys about something that's an amazing topic. First of all, Foot Champions is the best thing that came to FIFA in a long time, at least Ultimate Team. It's just a fantastic mode. I love it. I love the tournament. I love the competitiveness. Now, in Madden, which is made by EA Sports, and I believe, don't quote me on anything I say here, but I believe this is in their game. And if it's not, this idea just needs to be added because it's an amazing idea, period. Foot it's called Mutt Champions, or, or Mutt, Dra Draft, Mutt Draft Champions, I believe it's called. Just Draft Champions is what they call it, but it's in Mutt. For us, it should be called...